being a maker on the move can be super fun, especially when you can make your own games. This is a next level game that I'm making while I'm on the move. So it's one of those Simon memory games. So the lights will come on and you can press the conductive fabric to play the game. Have a look. This is the tutorial of how I made the video while on a flight. And hopefully you'll be able to beat my high score. It's not very high, so you probably can. Hi, I'm Christine, and my channel is all about creating fun and creative wearable projects, things that you can make. I've also written a book about wearable technology, which is available at all good bookstores. So we're gonna need a couple of things. The main one we're looking at is conductive fabric. So this is a fabric that has these conductive patches in stripes so it makes quite a good one for this particular project but you can buy conductive fabric just on its own and then you could sew it in strips with fabric so conductive fabric you'll need for the touch areas in the circuit you'll then also need a base fabric so I really love to use neoprene because it is super soft and also thick enough for our components make sure it's large enough so it will go around your wrist if that's where you're making the game we also tend to use a small glue. So this is just um, a fabric glue. I usually choose quite a small one because then you can travel with it very easily. You'll also need a very small pair of scissors just so you can cut the threads and so on. The conductive thread that we're using is made of steel. So um, you won't be able to cut it without scissors for sure clear thread so I always use clear thread for these circuits that way you can initially attach the components and you won't see any sewing which is really cool for the actual build we're using a super cool little Adafruit cutie pie so this little guy here you can see that I've pre-soldered so each of these legs has a little um, kind of circular area end on it and so this way I can use this with conductive thread and just sew it straight into these little loops, which is fantastic. We're also going to need a battery for our circuit. I like to bring a little rechargeable one. This one does have the little end so we can plug it straight in to our little on off circuit. So that's great. These little guys here. So these are the sewable Neo pixels. So WS 2812Bs. We're going to need five of these for the circuit. I'm also going to use some conductive thread. So try and get steel if you can. You can see that this is sort of very straight. This is a great thread to use. If you use silver, it does have a tendency to tarnish, meaning your circuits will lose conductivity over time. The last thing we're going to need is our little charge circuit here. So this is just a little way to have an on off switch and an ability to use our battery power so we'll be using this as well and you'll notice all the components today have sew tabs on them so that is everything we need for today and all we need to do now is make sure we do not miss our flight Tirez sur la courroie pour l'ajuster. To release, 
So this is the Simon memory system and what will happen is it will light up and I will have to press it. Okay, so I missed it, wasn't in time, so I lost the game. So that was one. No smoking signs are visible throughout the cabin. La cabine est munie de voyants pour les ceintures de sécurité et l'interdiction de fumer. Please comply with these signs and crew instructions at all times. Veuillez vous conformer en tout temps aux voyants ainsi qu'aux consignes des membres de l'équipage. In the event of an emergency, you will hear a command to brace. En cas d'urgence, vous entendrez une commande vous demandant de prendre votre position de protection. Refer to your safety features card for your brace position. Consultez votre carte des mesures de sécurité pour connaître votre position de protection. There are eight emergency exits. Il y a huit sorties de secours. Four window exits mid-cabin over the wings. Quatre clos de sortie au milieu de la cabine, au-dessus des ailes. Two door exits at the front. Deux portes à l'avant. And two door exits at the back. Et deux portes à l'arrière. Locate your nearest exit and alternate exits, which may be behind you. Repérez la sortie la plus près, ainsi que les sorties alternatives, qui peuvent être derrière vous. If an evacuation is required, leave all personal belongings behind and follow the floor lighting to the nearest exit. En cas d'évacuation, laissez vos articles personnels à bord et suivez l'éclairage de plancher vers la sortie la plus près. If the cabin pressure changes and emergency oxygen is required, a mask will drop from the panel above you. En cas de changement de pression dans la cabine et de besoin urgent d'oxygène, le panneau situé au-dessus de vous s'ouvrira et des masques à oxygène en sortiront. Hold the mask towards you to start the flow of oxygen. Tirez le masque vers vous et l'oxygène se libérera automatiquement. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Placez le masque sur votre nez et votre bouche. Secure the strap behind your head. Passez la bande élastique derrière votre tête. Tighten the straps and breathe normally. Tirez sur les deux extrémités de la bande élastique pour l'ajuster et respirez normalement. Secure your mask before helping others. Mettez votre masque en premier avant d'aider les autres. The plastic bag may not inflate, but oxygen is still flowing. Le sac en plastique ne se gonfle peut-être pas, mais l'oxygène circule. Please inform any crew member if you have questions or safety concerns. Veuillez communiquer avec les membres de l'équipage de cabine si vous avez des questions ou préoccupations liées à la sécurité. Thank you for choosing WestJet. It is our pleasure to take care of you. Enjoy your flight. Merci d'avoir choisi WestJet. Nous sommes ravis de nous occuper de vous aujourd'hui. Nous vous souhaitons un bon vol.